solve large intractable problems. It's a new venture altogether. Your brain is a wild horse there. Because remember, writing is not a team sport. You are not selling horse carriages when there are cars. I want to be known only as a trusted advisor. More like a tourist. Play to Potential Podcast. But just to move the conversation forward, uh, you you went to IIT Madras as well. That's right. Uh, several batches before uh, I I went to the campus. Yeah. Uh, but post IITM, uh, you've you've made a set of choices uh, which are I would say quite different from a lot of the others. That's right. Can you talk a little bit about some of the key choices you might have made post that, and maybe also talk a little bit about what you do now. See, uh, I think most of the choices that I made were actually set in the last couple of years of study. Yeah, um, I finished in '72, mm. right? So '70s were a very, uh, very important time across the globe. Mm. Yeah, because there were a lot of student revolutions happening all over the world. Vietnam was happening, and. <clears throat> Uh, I got to meet people who were part of the Vietnam resistance in America, who were traveling the world, who dropped into IIT. Mm -hmm. And um, these were very, you know, interesting kind of movements. So uh, at a time when the general idea in IIT is to go abroad, mm -hmm. right? I was confronted with, uh, you know, really looking at, uh, you know, many of these influences, right? Which made me deeply question, what should I do with my life? Yeah, uh, one of my friends was very interested in Sri Aurobindo. Mm. So we would read that together and things like that. So these were very critical things. And the other critical thing was meeting up with Dharampal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, not very many people know about Dharampal. He was a Gandhian who uh, had worked with the Panchayati Raj, setting up the Panchayati Raj system in India. And he has done a lot of study of what was India like in the 17th, 18th century, just when the British came in. And his recounting of it, which interestingly is largely from Vice, you know, the, the records of the British, the vice regal records in Britain. He went there, spent a long time. It's a fascinating study, mm. right? And when you hear uh, people like this who've been in the movement, who've really studied this, speak to you about India, it really moves you, right? The kind of sacrifices that were made, his own direct experience of Gandhiji, right? And then there was another very important professor called... Uh, uh, we, we used to call him Caesar, uh, Seshadri, mm -hmm. Dr. Seshadri. Yeah, he was another big influence because he was one of the people in IIT who challenged the idea of why we are doing science, mm -hmm. why are we doing technology, right? What should we focus on? Yeah, so though immediately after IIT, I went into, you know, uh, working with a medium scale company. My dad was running a company making printing machines. I got in, uh, you know, heading manufacturing. But very soon, uh, things changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when I went in, uh, you know, things seemed hunky-dory from the outside. No? So when you go in, you discover how the organization is working. And I went right into a turnaround situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I did a lot of work on the shop floor, which is like bringing in flow manufacturing and things like that. My, my focus was operations research. Sure. So a lot of the work that I did was on that production manufacturing. So I did that and did bring about a turnaround as far as the operations were concerned. So slashed down the turnaround time of manufacturing the machine to one third of what it was and things like that. 
But the other thing that happened was I discovered how many mistakes my dad had made in running the business. And, you know, Abhipraya Bhedam, like you call, na? So I just, I had to leave. Mm. And that's when the, the choices became much more critical. Right? And by that time, this whole Dharampal was in Chennai over a period of time. So constant engagement with him, plus other influences and things like that. So uh, one of the critical things I think that happened, which really changed the course, was a conversation uh, that I had with Dharampal, many of us, not just me, where he asked a group of us, you know, what are you going to do with your education? Right? Are you going to run behind the tails of the West or are you going to invest it in India? How do you make India great? Right? Can you do it by going abroad? What's your idea? Yeah? And also this whole question of uh, what does it mean to be Indian? Mm. Right? And the necessity of going back to your roots in order to build right, that you can't import ideas and graft them on, on a culture that is not compatible. So several ideas like this. Huh? So that's when uh, one of the suggestions he made was that each of us uh, take up an area of study, right, go to a teacher, uh, study for at least 10 years, wow. right, and study a text in depth, right? And see why it is relevant for India today, right? So his advice was very, very simple. He said, don't go and study to glorify India. Go and study to see if there is something real out here, mm. right? So many of us took up different areas of studies. I went into yoga, particularly to look at psyche, how the psyche works. Uh, my wife, Sashi, uh, you know, she was also part of this. There was a movement called the People's Patriotic Science and Technology. Mm -hmm. So she went to study Vastu Shastra. Mm -hmm. uh, Balu studied uh, Priksha Ayurveda. MD went into, MD Srinivasan went into studying Indian mathematics and science. Navjyoti went into studying uh, aesthetics. Right? So it was not just me. Huh? Many of us What's fascinating as I hear you, Abu, is the pathway. Spend 10 years, go deep. There are no easy answers at the surface. You need to yeah. go deep. It takes 10 years. And then see what you can do with it. That's it's right. Such a, That's such right. a refreshing approach. That's right. driving change rather than just running with it. Yeah, of course. 